Hey, baby girls, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo están? I hope everyone is doing super, super well. Welcome to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be using Sour Head from our Kawaii collection. This is a Lime Wire from our 90s collection. This is Pistachio from our Easter collection. Peeps from our Easter collection, which is a beautiful yellow. We're also going to be using Snow Bomb because we're going to be doing a little bit of 3D. And this is just a nude that I'm working on right now. So I will give you a little more updates later on, you guys, because it's still not a thing. I, I'm still not sure if it's, you know, a nude that I'm actually going to bring out. It's in the works. So I'm not even going to talk about it as much. Okay, but yeah. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and do um, kind of like a just like a very trendy design in a way um i've been seeing these trendy designs on tiktok on instagram everywhere and i really wanted to try it myself which it didn't really exactly look the way i wanted it to look at the end but it looks kind of cute of course i'm gonna go ahead and try it again to see how it you know to see if i can perfect it a little better or make it a little better you know what i mean so yeah First of all, you guys, I want to say that I'm sorry I've been a little MIA. Um, honestly, you guys, I've been not really feeling to be here on YouTube. Um, I don't know what it is, you guys. I guess, like, the vibe has changed a lot lately, and I really don't even feel like sitting down and recording. I'm being completely honest, you guys. Um, you know, and making content, you know what I mean? I feel like I think I'm going to go ahead and take TikTok and Instagram a little more especially tiktok you know a little more seriously um i'll still post here on on youtube but not as not two times per week i'm only gonna be doing it once a week you guys to be honest it just doesn't feel the same anymore i i really don't know what it is um but yeah i mean again don't worry i will still post at least one video here per week and i will keep on posting shorts because whatever i post on tiktok and instagram i'll be posting it here um but i will be taking tiktok a bit more serious this time around and if you guys don't follow me over there on tiktok i'll be over there I'll be trying to do a little more than just like nail videos, you know what I mean? I'll try and like show you my nail room around. Um, by the way, we are currently, my husband and I are building a home. I don't know if I've ever told you this, you guys, but we're in the process of building a home. So the little shed that he had built me for my nails, for my nail room, um, I'm only going to be leaving it for bomb nails, you guys, like my little warehouse. And then my nail studio is going to go inside our house. He's building me a little room inside there. So I'm going to be already inside my house and I can't wait. We're, we still have a little bit to go. So yeah. So now that I'm going to be taking TikTok seriously, I can show you guys a better like look uh, at my workspace where I keep all my stuff and just like little things like behind the scenes a little bit you know what I mean so yeah I, I can't wait I could do it right now in my little shed but honestly that little shed you guys we never really got to like finish it 100% it's maybe like at a 90% um so that's why I don't really show you show it to you guys I know there's nothing wrong with that but I mean I don't know I'm just like that to where I want to show you guys something that's like fully finished and not like halfway there you know what i mean but yeah anyway um we're gonna go ahead and move on here to the design and i'm gonna go ahead and add my little nude here this nude as i was telling you at the beginning i really don't know if it's gonna like make it to bomb nails it's on the works it's on the process um it's something that I created and we're trying to kind of color match it with my vendor. So um, they've sent me a couple of samples, but it's not it's not this, you know what I mean? So we're still trying. It's in the works. Don't worry. Um, of course, I'll keep you guys posted if it does make it to bomb nails, which is a beautiful color. It's such a beautiful color. Um, it's kind of giving like a baddie nude, but it's like the baby sister of baddie nude. You know what I mean? Um, baddie nude is like that bad, 
be you know what i mean and um this is more like subtle if that makes sense um which i i love both of them to be honest i really want to use batty nude next on like any of my next sets to be honest i haven't really gotten to use it which i love that batty nude you guys i freaking love it such a beautiful nude um by the way everything i'm using um except for this nude is on the website so if you guys are interested go and check it out um link is on my description box below um also another thing you guys will be having remember our um crystal clear pink handle kalinsky brushes they'll be back in stock soon and we're having a number 16 kalinsky brush on that handle in case you guys want a bigger size on that brush we're gonna be having it soon i can't wait you guys because i've been wanting a bigger size for that brush and i don't have it i only have the number 12 and the number 14 but i've been waiting so much for that and i can't wait but yeah so we're gonna also be applying a lime wire from our 90s collection here on the pinky by the way sadly our 90s collection will not be coming back you guys whatever is on the website um it's on the website and whatever is not on the website and, and it's sold out it's already sold out you guys um, I think we still have NYX splats available. I believe LimeWire is still available. Um, hey Arnold is still available. There's a few on there that are still available on the website. So in case you want to go and get your hands on that before it sells out and never comes back, then you might as well do it now. Um, because yeah, remember I'm not working with that supplier anymore. So we won't be having this collection anymore um so yeah i'm using this on the pinky and i'm gonna go ahead and apply it all throughout the pinky we're kind of gonna be making like a aura type of design and that's why i'm gonna go ahead and use pistachio next um i'm picking up my beads pretty i guess it's like a medium sized bead you guys because this is my second bead and then my cuticle bead is gonna be a little bit smaller. You're gonna be seeing that in a minute. And the temperature has been helping me a lot, you guys, to pick up like the perfect beads so that it doesn't flood my cuticles. Like my application is bomb AF, you guys, because of the weather lately. The weather lately here where I live has been amazing. It's been a little weird though, I'm not gonna lie. Last year this time around, I remember it being like in the upper 90s already. Well, no, not even, upper 80s. Um, and then this time, like this year, I've been seeing that we're barely like at 70 degrees, 75 maybe. And it's been a little weird to me, you know what I mean? Cause we don't, again, like by this time around, we're already close to the 90s so it's been a little cold and chill well it's not cold but like in the mornings when i take my son to school you guys it's like on the like upper 40s 50s and to me that's cold because we're not used to like the cold weather like that you know what i mean so it's kind of chilly out and i feel like it's kind of weird because by this time we should already be you know pretty warm out and yeah but anyway but either way you guys the temperatures have been pretty good so it's been helping a lot with my acrylic application and i'm sorry i don't think i recorded the part where i where i added pistachio you guys um it's just i wanted to add pistachio on there because i'm sorry if i'm skipping like through conversations you guys i'm so sorry but you know i'm trying to like maintain a platica here while still kind of explaining to you guys what the video what's happening in the video but um it's kind of like a nice transition between colors so that it's not just like from green to yellow you know what i mean so i like i i just wanted to add like a tad bit of green on there so that it's a nice transition between the lime green and then like the pistachio kind of sort of and then the yellow and i just thought it looked really good you guys so now here on the middle nail i'm gonna go ahead and do a little ombre so i'm gonna go ahead and start from the cuticle area and start by applying my nude there and oh, i'm so in love with this color you guys so so freaking in love now we're gonna go ahead and add a sour head on the tip of the nail as you guys can see here and and now this is more like a chunky it's more like a 
chunky glitter so you have to be very patient with it you guys and kind of just scatter around the glitters so that they, it doesn't look like bulky you know what i mean but it's beautiful you guys i really don't mind that to be honest i mean if the glitter was ugly then i would mind it but i mean the kawaii collection is beautiful in its own way and it's i love it you guys i think my favorite colors or my favorite glitters actually from the kawaii collection is sourhead cosmos and saucy i love those three you guys i'm in love with those three the rest are beautiful too i love them um but these are my favorite so i'm gonna go ahead and kind of just ombre a little bit towards the cuticle area as you guys can see just a little bit you guys there's no need for it to be like a flawless um like a flawless uh ombre i feel like just like that it looks beautiful so now we're gonna go ahead and skip through everything you guys the encapsulation and the uh filing process and all that again i'm gonna be skipping through that you're only gonna be seeing that from now on when i do my right hand with my non-dominant hand and that's the only way you're gonna be only seeing that you guys because honestly these are just designs you know what i mean i'm not even gonna keep them or anything so i don't even see the like the point of me leaving all that in the video but anyway we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of frenchies so for that i am using my white gel polish um and this is on the website it's about to sell out but don't worry i do have new gels coming in so we will be restocking our black and our white um but it's still in stock don't worry about that so if you guys want to go get your hands on the white gel polish go and get it before it's gone because i don't know when it's gonna restock maybe in about a month <laughs> but um yeah we're gonna go ahead and do the little frenchie by the way i am using my 20 mm liner brush which i love for these type of frenchies you guys especially for like long nails a 20 mm liner brush is just perfect so i'm gonna go ahead and fill it all in you guys and as you guys can see one just like literally one uh, brain fart coats that's what i'm trying to say one coat is perfect you don't need to go in with two or three coats and it's very opaque it's very very opaque which is what i love you don't need to go in with so many coats in order to get that white you know what i mean or that op op opacity opacity whatever that's called opacity i don't even know you guys but you get the picture and um yeah i'm just kind of like going around my little frenchie here and perfecting it making sure it's not like wonky or anything kind of weird looking so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just um perfect it around make sure there's no like bubbles or lint you guys i was having so many problems this time with lint i really don't even know where lint comes from because i make sure that my like when i sit down to record i make sure that my table is nice and clean i go in with like clorox wipes and all that you know and i i don't know i don't know where lint comes from maybe from our clothes it just kind of like flies around i don't even know you guys it's just it was just getting on my nerves so much and oh uh, i was like what is going on here but yeah you guys um i'm gonna go ahead and do the same frenchie on the thumb um by the way i do have a video on how i did the thumb on my shorts and also on my instagram and also on my tiktok again you guys if you guys don't follow me over there on instagram or in tiktok go ahead and follow me over there because i'm gonna be a little more active over there from now on i again I'm still going to be active over here. I'm still going to be posting over here my shorts um, on my community tab. I'm still going to be uploading once a week here. So don't worry. I'm still going to be around on YouTube, but not as much. I remember um, I was uploading two times a week, but now I'm not anymore, you guys. Um, yeah, the vibe is just totally off, okay? Don't even ask me why, but the vibe here is totally off and it's not the same anymore. But yeah so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do the thumb and also the index nail as you guys can see here so i'm gonna let you guys watch this small little portion and then i'll be back
okay so now we're gonna go in with our little airbrush machine here and I'm gonna go ahead and mix a little bit of this green and gel polish with a little bit of acetone just kind of mix it around and then we're gonna get to working on it we're gonna be doing an aura design on the uh, what's it called on the index nail on my ring finger and also on my thumb um, I know there's a lot of things that you shouldn't be doing with this I know there's other things that I could do to achieve like the airbrush type of look and I'm gonna start to um, get into that instead like the eyeshadow and all that I know I'm gonna go ahead and purchase some of that on Amazon so that I don't have to be doing this because this is very dangerous you guys um, I know there's like ink specially for the um, airbrush machine like the acrylic paints and all that but I heard that it's no good like it won't it doesn't do the same job you know what I mean it's literally no good so I don't know you guys I'm trying to see what I could you know what I could do to get the airbrush look instead of doing this with the gel but as for now this is what I have and this is what I'm working with so primeramente Dios y nada nos pase um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do like the little squiggly lines around the nail you guys this this was just not giving okay this did not give what it was supposed to give but just bear with it and just pretend it's it's supposed to give what it's supposed to give okay um it looked cute at the end i'm not gonna lie but when i placed my or when i went ahead and um added my top coat it kind of got lost somewhere in the top coat i don't know you guys but you guys get it i'm pretty sure you've seen these designs and i'm pretty sure you guys know what i'm talking about so again just pretend it's there and just pretend it's giving okay um so i went ahead and did the same exact design on my three nails my thumb my index and my ring finger um this gel is by jelixid i have a long it's it's been with me for a long time you guys um and i purchased it i think through ebay this is actually for crystals but i'm using it for this because i don't use gel for my crystals you guys know that i use my big bondini for my crystals and um i use this type of gels for like this designs like these you know what i mean that's why i don't throw nothing away you guys because honestly everything's everything comes back and some of the things you may have from back then it will come handy you guys i promise you that so i'm also using my i think my 8 mm liner brush to create the little lines and i'm gonna go ahead and cure that under the lamp for about 60 seconds okay so now we're gonna go back in with our white and our yellow and we're gonna go ahead and create a pretty simple flower or like I don't even know what it is you guys petals flowers whatever and it's very very simple you guys you just kind of make a big petal and then you just kind of overlap the second one and then overlap the third one and then you overlap the fourth one and it kind of makes like a beautiful flower white flower I don't know you guys it's so beautiful but I kind of wanted to try it here because I really didn't know what to do I kind of wanted to do like a cartoon character but I'm like girl no you can't even draw so I'm like I'm just gonna go in with 3d and this is what I did you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and use my 3d brush for this also my white and peeps and I'm gonna go ahead and just make the little petals here and very simple you guys very very simple and i'm gonna leave you guys to it just watch it because honestly there's really nothing much for me to explain here and i'll be back
now with that same gel i'm gonna go ahead and add some little caviar beads i've noticed that when you work with caviar beads it's best for you guys to glue them on and to even place them wherever you're gonna place them using gel if you're using like i do a glue it's super hard you guys it's very very hard because you have to pick it up one by one because if you try to pick it up like i'm doing here with the gel the glue is just gonna dry down and then you're left with a brush and a big bead of <laughs> of um caviar beads right at the tip of your brush so you don't want that um and it's just best for you guys to work this way i know what i'm telling you okay i had to i had to learn the hard way so i'm gonna go ahead and just place down some little caviar beads right in the center of the little of the little flowers and then now here we're going to be doing another trendy little design where it has like some little droplets and we're just going to leave it at that you guys and i'm going to be using that same gel to create that and my 8 mm liner brush as well um very simple very 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 simple you guys and very beautiful as well i know these like I'm, I'm gonna start to do more like these you guys because there's so many like trendy um whatchamacallit like just trendy designs trendy little things that you can add to your nail honestly you guys designs on on nails are just endless you can choose anything you want and you know it's they're endless the options are endless for reals so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do a lot more of these um like this you know what i mean but like type of designs that are more trendy over there on instagram and tiktok and i'm just i'm just gonna try to incorporate it more onto my designs because honestly i feel like things have been getting a lot like very repetitive and we want to see something different you know what i mean but yeah, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and add my shiny top coat. This is my big boy shiny top coat, which is available on the website. And I'm just going to go ahead and top coat everything. Um, I forgot to record the parts where I added my matte top coat, but the pinky is matte. I went ahead and added a matte top coat. And then I went ahead and did the little droplets on top. Um, by the way, that gel is, um, it doesn't have like a sticky layer, so I didn't have to like remove any sticky or tacky layer or anything like that. So it's perfect for that type of uh, like designs and stuff. So around the flower, I am going to go and I'm going to go ahead and add the top coat around the flower. What am I talking about, you guys? <laughs> um and that's pretty much what i'm gonna be doing you guys um i'm not gonna add any crystals or anything like that i just i just thought that it looked good the way it looked but again these are just ideas from you guys from me to you guys and i feel like my brain is working faster than my mouth is so like the words i'm saying are coming out all weird you guys i'm so sorry let me calm down and take a chill pill right here okay so um I feel like crystals were gonna take away from the design these are just ideas from me to you guys and you guys take what you guys like and remove what you don't like and yeah if you want to add crystals to it go ahead and add crystals to it so yeah you guys that's pretty much it of course I'm gonna go ahead and bake it under the lamp for about 60 seconds once it comes out of the lamp please make sure you add your cuticle oil you don't want your nails looking all crusty dusty actually your cuticle is looking all crusty dusty and this is the end result i really really hope you guys enjoyed it i really hope you guys liked it um i know i did even though there were some things that were just not giving <laughs> but oh well you guys it's it's all good it's all good this was literally my first time trying these like little trends so bear with me okay um so yeah baby girls i'll see you guys here on the next one please stay safe god bless and bye bye